hope you like the new intro. Um, this vlog is going to be a little bit all over the place and it's because I started to edit this vlog and long story short, some of the files got corrupted somehow. So uh, I'll insert like words in to be like, hey, this was two days ago or this was this. But uh, yeah, there was a lot more to this video. So if it's like random clips and it seems confusing, I am sorry. Um, back to the intro stuff. So I spent probably like two hours trying to figure out how to edit the intro and how to make my little animated character and it was a lot of trial and error. So that might change in the future, but if you like it, let me know. And I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Hey guys, I am pretty sure that I forgot to tell you what we have for lunch. Um, literally all I do is I like just cut a sausage in half. I put it in a low carb tortilla and we have tortilla wrapped sausages. I actually got the idea from Bucky's because Bucky's tends to have, which is like a giant gas station over here. I don't know if everybody has those, but Bucky's uh, tends to have like sausage on a stick that's wrapped in a tortilla. So it's kind of my own version. I do add cheese to make it yummy. So for dinner, we're having leftover taco meat with cheese. And of course that taco meat had bell pepper and onion. And then I cut and roasted some zucchini in the oven with some seasonings. There's John's. Honestly, the only thing I really put on the veggies besides salt is just like onion powder and garlic powder, but this will be a yummy, low-carb little meal. There's a little bit more zucchini in there than it looks like. Yum. Okay, back to editing, Brittany. So at this point, I'm looking around for this camera. I found the camera. I couldn't find the batteries for the camera. This is a separate camera I like to use for like when I'm filming cleaning videos. So that way, this camera that I use for vlogging, I can still use and not get confused with all the mashed up videos if that makes sense it keeps it organized so yeah at this point i show you what i'm having for lunch so let me show you leftover chicken it does not look delicious but it is some pre-seasoned chicken that i got at aldi's and i always say it with an s so this chicken was like a lemon zesty chicken so what i did was when i got it i just added taco seasoning onion garlic powder salt the normal stuff um, you can tell that this is like the very end of the lettuce, so it's not going to be the most delicious But you know don't waste especially during These times I guess I'll just put it off whatever and then I'm gonna throw some cheese and Some Himalayan salt Why am I closing it? It's empty It's covered by lettuce and cheese now, but oh, you know, it makes everything better Okay, I don't know about you, but I am a huge fan of sour cream. You have to be careful though because sour cream has like a carb per two tablespoons and you really don't need very much, so just a little bit, okay? One of my biggest pieces of advice that I can give you is to always be prepared about your next meal. This is what's gonna prevent you from being so hungry that you go out of your way to like McDonald's and pick up a burger. So what you wanna do is you wake up in the morning, don't just think about what you're having for lunch, but start thinking about what you're gonna have for dinner. So I'm having this for lunch. John is not coming home for lunch today because he's actually working at a campus across town. It's luckily it's just him and a coworker, so they're not around a bunch of people. And I'm having our leftover chicken from last night. And then for dinner, I started throwing out some ground beef and we're gonna have some form of taco meat tonight. John is not a huge fan of ground beef for whatever reason, um, but he does like tacos and sometimes I'll do the taco meat like I showed you in that last clip with just some like zucchini cut up or some sort of vegetable and then I put in the cheese to kind of make it have more of a like to kind of give it like a casserole vibe so you kind of like mix it together and it's really good anyway I'm gonna go ahead and eat my lunch before it gets cold and I'll catch up with you later okay so the dogs are gonna sit next to me y'all chill Okay, I wanted a different angle, so I'm sitting on the floor and both the dogs are like, what's up? So I spent most of the day today working on my cleaning video and I think I'm just gonna start, I don't know, I've been debating, but I think I'm just gonna start putting cleaning videos on this channel 
and just kind of like mixing up this channel a little bit more to be more than just vlog. Like I made a whole cleaning channel, but at the same time, like, I don't know. It's a debate of whether or not I should have different channels because I think it messes up the YouTube algorithm when you have the one channel that does multiple things. I don't know, I haven't figured it out yet. Mochi is literally laying in my lap. So a little update. Our pan, um, our AC pan has been leaking or something. I don't know what it is, but our air conditioned unit has been leaking water. So we started putting like a bowl underneath there to kind of just catch all the water. We're still waiting for someone to come out from like the AC company. And so long story short, we actually, sh we actually um, rent our house from our employers. And so our employers, oops, sorry, our employers take care of all the um, like maintenance things. Yeah, it's been probably a couple of days. Sorry, the air is kicking on and off. The AC has been leaking. Hopefully it gets resolved soon. John's a little bit worried about the boards that hold up the AC unit collapsing. Um, just from getting waterlogged from the water dripping down. So I'll keep you updated on that. I was telling him like, just message them every day. Just like keeping them informed that, you know, it's still going on. I think it's really easy for, you know, maintenance people who are in charge of an entire school to kind of forget about the little house on campus, if that makes sense. But at least our air conditioning unit is still working and we still have cold air because it gets like 90 to 100 degrees sometimes. A lot of times at night it's like high 70s maybe 80 degrees and humid super humid so i got them some new toys mabel can i see it so i can show the new toys can i see it so this one's a lobster i have to get them well i have to get maple toys that have no stuffing because that's like the first thing she does when she gets a toy is she takes all the stuffing out so these are stuffing free toys some of them have squeakers this one had a squeaker, but she popped it, but it has crinkle in it, which she loves. And then there's like three other, or four other ones. Hey guys, well, I'm super blown out. Let me go, uh, oh, let me sit. <gasps> guys, this is my little corgi that I ordered online through an Instagram ad. I skipped over the ad a few times and then I saw it and then I was just like, look, I have to have it. So I went ahead and ordered it. No regrets, guys, it is. <laughs> It's so cute. Anyhow, I have my Zumba shirt on that I would normally wear to the Zumba studio, but of course, quarantine, I haven't been going. So I think I'm gonna do a YouTube video in just a little bit or a couple YouTube videos. Um, I'll link the channel in the description if you're interested, but I think it's called Fitness Marshall. And he has so many like dance fitness videos to like pop and hip hop and very like current um, songs that you would hear on the radio, which I really like. But what I do like about going to the studio is that you have people there like really pumping you up and like making you just keep going and having like friends there to do Zumba with. Since we're home, we're gonna do Fitness Marshall video. Um, I went ahead and like kind of listened to some pump up music because guys, this morning I woke up and I just wanted to stay in bed. Like I don't feel sick or anything, but I think it's like the whole summer classes I think just burnt me out. And I just wanted to take like the morning and just be a bum and lay in the bed and like I did a little bit of like powder on my face I didn't really do any full-on makeup because I'm about to get sweaty um, Ooh, I don't know if I'm gonna do it in this vlog or a different vlog, but I do want to make um, Some soap soon. I have like everything I need to do the melt soap I have like the coloring and the, the oils the actual soap block and then another thing that I would really love to do is to make some shirts because I have some blank shirts and I have the like vinyl, the heat press vinyl that I need. So I'm gonna go on Etsy later and pick out some like really cute design files that I can like cut out um, and make your shirt. So those are a few things on my to-do list for this week. So we'll see what makes it into this vlog because I think this vlog's already getting long. But yeah, those are a few of the things that I wanna do this week. So if they're not in this vlog, they'll be in upcoming vlogs. I think 
of my favorite parts about putting together a vlog or even a cleaning video is to like listen to the music and try and piece together the music to the video. It's like the part of editing that makes it feel like art because you can take a clip and you can make it feel more like it can have more emotion or it can have more energy. So I like kind of a upbeat sort of a thing. Um, I've been getting more into like lo-fi. Lately I've been using vlog no copyright for my music on my videos. So if you're somebody that likes to make content, you don't want to worry about copyright. Even if you're like just streaming and you want to be able to play music in the background or you're somebody that sells stuff on Facebook Live and you want to put music in the background, this is great. Hey guys. So I'm finishing up editing this video and I hope you guys like the intro. I'm having you guys vote right now on which tune to go, but it's gonna be the same like video. I really like it. I spent like a good hour and a half, two hours creating it. It involved finding a picture I liked and then a filter and then green background. There was a lot. <laughs> for this like four or five second intro but I really like it and I didn't have an intro for the longest time so yes that is the new intro. I am going to be working on my nails and so I'm about to start the next vlog and just a little bit of ending this one but I'm gonna work on my nails. I'm gonna do these like press on ones so stay tuned for that video but I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope to see you in the next vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always subscribe if you're new thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and I'll see you later. Bye!